So backstage at Croonfields 2008 and I've managed to uh, bump into Pendulum. We've got Gaz and Rob, how you doing fellas? Good, thanks. Yeah, you know, we were just talking off camera, these guys have had a really good year, obviously your track's done really well, and you've just come straight from is it Leeds. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we did a Scotland the night before as well, so. It's been pretty non-stop for you this year. What's been your favourite festival? Um, personally, uh, Download was really good. Is that you? Yep. <laughs> Now obviously music's the way that you kind of express yourself, music's your job, kind of 10 years of Cream, what do you kind of think of Cream Fields? You played last year didn't you, what do you think of its festival? I think we DJ'd last year, mm. um, yeah it's, just, it's one of the bigger dance festivals so it's always a good you know, collection of all the latest dance DJs and stuff like that, it's spot a lot of unknown people as well sometimes, yeah. it's good. Yeah, I mean, 10 years has been going really well, things are going really good. You guys have had quite a, a good year. What's kind of happening in the next couple of months after the festival season's kind of died down? Um, I guess uh, touring a lot. I mean, we were touring really heavily, heading uh, out to America and uh, Brazil. We've got uh, some gigs in Australia and then um, UK tour as well, coming up the end of the year. Mm. And uh, I think, what about album-wise? Yeah, hopefully a third album on the go uh, towards the end of this year. Yeah, well music, you know, music's your kind of life, it's your kind of job, it's how you guys express yourself. Is it quite hard on the road? It, do you get quite stressed out? No, it's good, it's a bit of a release from the studio. The studio can get a bit, I don't know, uh, can go a bit mad if you're left there too long. So it's a, it's a good uh, contrast. You said you're going to be working on the album. I mean, how long does that kind of take for you guys to kind of get the ideas together, get the production going and get in the studio? Um, it's it's pretty quick, you know. I mean, we we just it can be something to think of on the on the road, or it can be just going to a festival and see seeing how a particular track goes down. Then you go back to the studio and try to think of something that'll do that even more. You know, it can be anything. So it's usually quite quick. Where do you think like you guys are kind of heading musically? We was all talking, saying ten years of Creamfield has made us all realise, you know, how the music scene's changing. You've got the internet, you've got people being able to make, make tracks in the kind of their bedrooms. Like for you guys, what do you think is the future? Um, I don't know. I mean, for us, at the, at the moment, it's just touring and, and I guess I don't know well, the future of uh, electronic stuff. Yeah, like the technology. I mean, do you think like is, is vinyl long gone? I mean, do you think it's going to come full kind of circle? What do you think? Well, I, I, I hope the more vinyl goes away, <laughs> the, the more uh, the more interesting things will get, yeah. the less DJ oriented things become, and the more electronic bands that start to actually play live and integrate instruments into their live performances, as opposed to just playing off. Uh, hard drives and mm. laptops. I think it'll get a lot more interesting, and I think a lot more people will start doing that. Well, it seems a lot, there's a lot of indie bands starting to introduce electronic elements into their sets. It'd be good to see a lot more electronic bands going live. Do you think there's like possibilities of, especially of you guys, because you're saying DJing last year, performing this year? Do you think like there could be some collaborations with you guys and bands? Is it something you thought of in, for the future? Um, I don't know. At the moment, I, I quite like the idea of uh, doing some more band oriented stuff with other electronic producers such as I don't know guys like the Plumps or Liam from the Prodigy I think would be quite interesting um, but down the road if we have got a chance to work with some of the rock bands that we listen to you know day to day we'd be up for it definitely what would be what would be your ideal festival lineup like who would you really like to perform like think dead alive whoever who would it be I think actually Reading has come yeah, pretty that, close that this year that lineup was probably one of the best lineups Dropkick Murphys Rage, uh, Queens of the Stone, Stone Age. Stone Age. All yeah, them. amazing, amazing. And was Reading what you did last night or is it tomorrow? We Leeds, we got Reading tomorrow. Are you excited? Yeah. How do you guys keep going? Because it must be so hard on the road, on the road, on the road. I mean, you must get down at times. How do you deal with it? We come off the road. It's <laughs> a good answer. Is there a particular, because obviously music's your life, is there a particular song that kind of like cheers you up in the morning? Um, a guilty pleasure? Uh, Oh, what was that tune? Uh, Unskinny Bop by... Uh, by Poison. That's the, that's the yeah. tune at the moment. Is that what you're playing on the we bus play, and stuff? We, we play it in the dressing room before we go on stage to pump ourselves up. <laughs> yeah. it, it's, it's that annoying that whatever mood you're in, it'll take you out of it. Well, now, who do you say about the new acts, you know, at all the festivals? Who do you think, um, apart from yourselves, who should we be looking out for for the rest of 2008, 2009? Uh, electronic, I guess... Um, does it offend you? Yeah, they're all right. I saw them at... Um, at uh, NAS Fest we played at, they were really cool. Um, just I you, just you, that's just all we us. need to worry yeah. about. We're, re we're really competitive and egotistical, so. 
Wait, what time are you on? You're, I mean, I should let you go, really, because you're on Zoom. 7.35, I think, yeah. They're on. They're definitely going to be on. We don't know what time. We are playing. We are here. Because <laughs> we, uh, we, didn't, we didn't actually get to play at Creamfields Poland because of... Um, because it was completely rained out, it was too dangerous. Oh, so we're looking forward no. to we're looking forward to this one and making up for it. Wicked, well boys, enjoy the festival. Good luck for the future, yeah. and it was amazing to speak to you, Pendulum.